Welcome to lesson four of Mrs. Thomas's Common Core Math videos. Today we're going to be dividing positive and negative numbers using tiles. If you haven't already watched lesson one, two, and three, I highly recommend that you do so. It's going to explain how we use the tiles, what the tiles are, and how to make your own set of tiles so you can play along at home. All right, so let's talk about symbolism for dividing. Um, when we start you off dividing, we use this symbol right here. So maybe we have 10 divided by 2. Um, this symbol is, again, not useful once we get up into algebra. We're always going to replace that, and we're going to replace it with this, 10 divided by 2. This is way more clear. It doesn't seem like it, I know. And this looks like a fraction, because it is. All fractions are division problems. All division problems really are fractions. Um, so a lot of students don't care for this way of showing division because they don't care for fractions, but hopefully Common Core will change that. Um, but this is way more straightforward, especially when we get into order of operations. A lot of students make mistakes with this and they don't with this. This will not be used in algebraic problems. So we might as well get away from this now, and we're going to show division problems like this. All right, so we're going to do a simple example, just so you can get an idea of how division works with algebra tiles. The first thing we want to do is change this into the other method of showing division, which is 4 divided by 2. So that first number um, is going to be the numerator. So the 4 goes in the numerator, and the second number always goes in the denominator. Order is important here. So that first number, 4, is what we have. So I'm going to get out four algebra tiles. And the denominator, 2, is the number of groups I need to divide these into. So I'm going to draw two bins, and I'm going to pass out my 1s until I run out. And when I've passed out all my 1s into the bins, I can see I end up with two ones in each bin. So four divided by two is two. All right, negative six divided by three. Uh, so I'm bringing on our negatives. We're going to rewrite this, negative six divided by three. This is what I have. I'm cutting it into three groups. Uh, so first I need six red tiles. One, two, three. Here's my six red tiles, and I need three groups to put them in. So I'm just going to pass them out. And you can see when I pass out those six negative tiles into these three groups, each group contains two negative tiles. So my answer is negative two. All right, negative 10 divided by negative 5. I went straight to my preferred way of showing division. I didn't write it with the division symbol. Um, get comfortable with this. I know a lot of you, this makes your stand crawl. Um, but it's the future, and you need to move into the future. So just get comfortable with this. It's just division. It's exactly the same as the other symbol, but you make less mistakes, because you can obviously see what you have and how many pieces you're cutting it up into. Okay, so we've got 10 red tiles, and we want to separate them into five groups, but the number of groups is negative. Now, remember when we were multiplying and we had a negative number of groups, we just took the opposite of our tiles, and that's what we're going to do now. We're going to start with those 10 negative tiles. Uh, I'm going to make five groups, one, two, three, four, five groups, and I'm going to pass them out. One tile for each group, two tiles for each group. All right, and you can see that each group ends up with two tiles in it, right? Um, but this negative sign means uh, that I need to take the opposite. So that's negative 10 divided by 5. Negative 10 divided by negative 5 means I need the opposite of what I have here. So I got to flip them all over. Okay, flipped them all over. So negative 10 divided by negative 5 equals positive 2. If you have your multiplication tables memorized, you're not going to use tiles for division. Division with tiles 
is a good thing to understand so that you can use them when we get to variables, which is going to be more complicated. Uh, but if you are just dividing numbers, you just are going to think about the tiles but not use them. So if we have 15 divided by negative 3, we're going to take 15 divided into 3 groups, which is 5, and then take the opposite of that number, so it's going to be a negative 5. So a positive divided by a negative is negative, a negative divided by a positive is negative. Anytime the signs are different between what you have and the number of groups you're dividing it into, your answer is going to be negative. If I have negative 20 divided by negative 4, I'm starting with negative tiles, I'm going to divide it into four groups. Uh, 20 negative tiles divided into four groups is going to be negative 5, but this number in the bottom says take the opposite of that answer. So my answer is going to be positive 5. So anytime you're, what you're dividing up is negative, and the number of groups you're dividing it into is negative, your answer is going to be positive, because you started with negative tiles, but you took the opposite after dividing them up. So you're going to get a positive answer. All right, now you get to try it on your own and see how you did. So here's your problem. Negative 10 divided by 2. Please pause the video, rewrite it in the correct way, use the tiles to solve it. Start the video when you're done. All right, you should have written it like this. The first number on top, the second number on the bottom. We have 10 negative tiles. We're cutting that up into two groups or dividing it into two groups. So here's my 10 negative tiles separated into two nice groups, and I can see that each group has five negative tiles in it, so my answer is negative five. To try on your own, negative eight divided by negative four. Pause the video, give it a try. I started with eight negative ones, the red side. I divided them into four groups, uh, so two in each group, and then because of this negative in the denominator, I flipped all my tiles over. So I've got a negative uh, number of tiles that I'm dividing, but I've got a negative on the number of groups I'm dividing them into. So my answer is going to be positive. All right, here's three practice problems before we wrap it up. Give these three a try. We're not going to use the algebra tiles, but I want you to think about what's actually happening when you solve these. All right, so you should have been thinking 25 tiles divided into five groups. That's five tiles in each group. And this says take the opposite. The opposite of positive five is negative five. Here we have 48 negative tiles divided into eight groups. Each group's going to have six tiles in it, six negative tiles. This says take the opposite. The opposite of negative six is positive six. Here we have 30 negative tiles being divided into six groups. So each one of those groups is going to have five negative tiles in it. 